What's going on gamers? Today we're going to go over how to install the MC Eternal mod pack on your server and even how to play. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every new tutorial we post just like this one. As time progresses, vanilla Minecraft can oftentimes add more features but often misses the same spark as modded. MC Eternal is one of the most popular mod packs as of late, handcrafted over the course of 8 months to provide one of the most varied and creative Minecraft experiences. As a mod with hundreds of materials for Tinkerer's Construct and over 750 quests, economy systems, town building, distinctive RPG elements, it's no surprise that there's over 2.9 million people that love MC Eternal. With Apex Hosting, it's so easy to install and use the MC Eternal servers, so that's what we're going to be showing you how to do today. To install server side, all you're going to need to do is start off by heading to your Apex server panel and then scroll down to the jar file selection part of the page. Click on the drop down and you can either scroll up or down or just type in and search for MC Eternal. Then select MC Eternal and make sure to click change version when prompted. It's also super recommended to create a new world when you are prompted to prevent any issues with this new mod pack. Now restart your server and load the mod pack. If you don't restart here, your server could load incorrectly or have tons of issues. Alternatively, if you would like to use the Biomes of Plenty World Generation, what you are going to want to do is similarly head to your Apex server panel, but here go ahead and stop your server. Then once your server has come to a full stop and is fully offline, go ahead and click on config files to the left of the page. Once you're in config files, just click on server settings and scroll down until you find the level type part of the page. And in the text box, go ahead and full caps type in biomes OP like you're seeing on the screen. Then click save to generate a new world when you're prompted to restart and restart your server. And if your server does get stuck loading where it's in this loop where it's constantly trying to get online, all you need to do is head to your main server panel and on your main server panel, go ahead and click on console. In console, go ahead and find the text box. And in your text box, go ahead and type in what you're seeing on the screen. That's slash FML confirm. This should load your world back up and then you're ready to play MC Eternal. But if you want to install MC Eternal on your device, or you don't know how to install it, we're going to show you how to do just that. Go ahead and start off by heading to the CurseForge download page, which of course is going to be linked in the description of this video. And once you've downloaded and installed it, go ahead and head to Browse Mod Packs in the Minecraft tab. If it's not on the front page, just go ahead and search it up at the top and spell it correctly. Click on the install button to the right of the mod pack. Once it's done installing and downloading, you can return to the My Mod Pack section to find your mod pack and play MC Eternal. Quick note before we get started on how to play is if you try and join the server and an error pops up, it might not be installed correctly. This is an easy fix though, and all you need to do is delete the mod pack and reinstall it. Make sure you're also using the official MC Eternal version of the mod pack. And now it's time to go over some of MC Eternal's coolest features. When you first spawn in, one of the items in your inventory should be the quest book. Once you open it up, it provides over 750 quests for rewards. And the skillbook mod is also in your inventory. 
This mod will allow you to choose a specific skill that you can level up. With the Ice and Fire mod, strong dragons are added to be fought and tamed. While there aren't a lot of variants of dragons, there's armor and much more to this mod. With Bibliocraft, there are so many items in the mod pack, and it's a great way to decorate and organize things. You could display your items and tools for aesthetics and easier access. And finally, there's the Atom. With MC Eternal, access to the Atom is not necessarily simple as it used to be. Instead, it's accessible through the Advanced Rocketry mod and Space. Once you have a space station, all you need to do is warp to various locations that are accessible through your space station. Of course, these aren't all the mods in this mod pack, these are just some that we thought were really cool. Overall, the MC Eternal mod pack is a great option for those who wish to explore and find a multitude of buildings or options to become strong or just do whatever they want to do. This is a super large mod pack and it often requires large amounts of memory, so it's definitely recommended to have a stronger PC to run this pack well. Otherwise, there's also an MC Eternal Lite version for you to use. Whether you're focused on creating the strongest character or learning all the spells in the wizardry mod, this mod pack is for you. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.